density is a word you can use to describe how much space an object takes up, its volume, in relation to how much matter it has, its mass. Imagine a box of chocolates. It has a certain density. If we eat all the chocolates, the density of the box changes. It is less dense. This is because the mass of the chocolates has reduced, but the volume of the box has stayed the same. Today we are thinking all about density and we're going to try and make a density rainbow. So you're going to need to collect the following materials and ingredients. You will need six containers, a glass or a jar, some yellow, red and blue food colouring, some sugar, some warm water, a teaspoon, a pipette or a syringe, or you could also use a teaspoon, and you might find it useful to have a third cup, or you could just measure your water out. Our first job is to measure one third cup, or 80 millilitres of hot water or warm water, into our six dishes. We're then going to add food colouring so that we have red, orange, yellow, green, blue and purple water. We're now going to be adding our sugar to our different colours. Now each colour is going to get a different amount of sugar in it. So here's my sugar. Now the red one isn't going to have any sugar in it, but we're going to put three teaspoons of sugar into our orange mixture. We'll then put five teaspoons in our yellow mixture. Seven teaspoons in our green mixture. nine teaspoons in our blue mixture and 11 teaspoons in our purple mixture. Stir all of the solutions until the sugar is dissolved. If the sugar isn't dissolving, you could microwave your mixtures in the microwave for a few seconds to heat the water up and help the process along. Now that the sugar's dissolved, we can begin to put our rainbow together. We can now start to assemble our rainbow. Now the best thing to use is a plastic syringe like this one, however you can also use a pipette or your teaspoon. The most important thing about this stage is we have to do everything very slowly and very carefully because we don't want the colours to start mixing. Now we're going to be making our rainbow in a glass. Now you might not use all of the liquid you've made, depending on the size of your glass. Make sure you leave room for each of the colours. We're going to start at the bottom of the rainbow with purple and make our way up to the top. So the first one I'm going to put in the bottom is the purple. Now because this is our first colour we can just pour it straight into our glass. I would recommend giving your mixtures a stir before you pour them in as well. Next I'm going to add some blue. This time I'm going to use my syringe. I'm going to give it a stir beforehand. Now when we add the colours, the best way to do it is to run them down the inside of the glass very, very slowly. Well, I'm starting to see a blue layer forming, let's keep adding. Once 
once you're happy with the amount of blue you've got in your glass, you can start adding the next colour, which will be green. And the next colour. And there we go, our very own rainbow in a glass. Let's have a closer look at what was happening. When we added the sugar to the different colours, we changed the density of the mixtures. The purple solution is a lot more dense than the orange solution because we added 11 teaspoons of sugar to the purple water and only 3 teaspoons to the orange water. The purple solution has a lot more sugar molecules squashed into the same amount of water. The more dense the liquid is, the heavier it is. That is why our colours sit on top of each other. Have a go at making your own rainbow at home and share them with us on social media. Why not try adding the sugar in different quantities to different colours? Come up with your own rainbow patterns.